Hello there, beautiful people. So, uh, first of all, Star Wars, The Last Jedi. Don't see it. Don't, 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 don't see it. Don't, don't. Don't see that movie. Don't, no. Don't see that movie. Don't. Don't see that movie. So I've recently watched Star Wars The Last Jedi and uh, in case you guys uh, are still wondering, um, I, I wasn't a big fan. So uh, here are my problems with the movie. Uh, let's get some of the basic SJW bullshit out of the way. So this could have easily been called Star Wars The Feminist Edition. Uh, the, the, uh, the whole movie is essentially run by women, the men take a back seat. Which, you know, it's, it's, it's not necessarily a big problem. I mean, unless they keep shoving that down our throats in every single thing we see. And there was a lot of the whole socialism stuff, you know, rich people are evil, uh, give your money away, and, st you know, selling weapons bad and stuff like that. Uh, with all the SJW stuff out of the way, I guess, you know, a lot of us should get used to it. I don't see that trend dying out fast. And I don't necessarily think that, you know, just because a movie has SJW stuff in it, it should be automatically bad. But um, we are seeing a lot of these trends being shoved down our throats. And at some point, you got to be like, dude, I get it. Women awesome. Men suck. Let's move on to something. I so, so, th th so that was my first reaction to the movie. But apart from that, even if you like... Uh, typical SJW narrative being shoved down your throat. The movie had some other severe problems, okay? Uh, so, spoiler alert. This is my favorite part of the movie because this is so bad. <laughs> it, it's funny. I mean, I like this part of the movie and I also hate this part of the movie because it's comical and it's stupid. So, here's the thing. Princess Leia suffers a... Uh, suffers uh, what would appear like she's about to die. She gets sucked into space and she's twirling around and you go like, oh my God, she's about to die. And uh, she's, she's, you know, like twirling around in space and you go like, ah oh, man, I can't believe this character is about to get a gruesome death and she's almost dead. And then she starts twitching and just all of a sudden she summons the force and flies into, you know, it's, it's, it was like a scene taken from any typical superhero movie that you would see, you know, where the superhero is like going through space and he's almost dead and then all of a sudden zhoosh, flies out. So that was, that, was, that, was, that was a little comical. Um, I don't think it added on to good, good qualities of the movie, but it was, it, it was, it was a little crazy. Uh, on top of that, there were other things. Uh, the characters really were not well developed. Uh, the main villain, uh, what was his name? I think it was Snoke. Uh, I, I don't think his character was well developed. I'm, I'm not even sure if we should call him the main villain. Let's say he was one of the villains. Uh, I don't think that character was well developed. Uh, and also, um, there, was, there are certain industry trends which one might say are good in certain movies but not in all so for example if, if you guys watched the first Avengers movie the first Avengers movie you guys probably remember a lot of the jokes a lot of the self-deprecating jokes that the characters were throwing out you know parroting the movie in itself they were funny right and and they were we all enjoyed it but you, you don't want that in every movie and, and I don't think the the Star Wars franchise lends itself to that sort of industry trend, if you guys know what I mean. Th th don't get me wrong, there are uh, self-deprecating jokes. Well, I wouldn't necessarily call them self-deprecating, but th th there are jokes that are, you know, consistent across the Star Wars franchise. But it gets to a point where certain characters, you feel like their their personality has almost changed since the last time you saw them. Uh, Luke Skywalker was a uh, more funny in this movie than uh, I think I've ever seen him in the past, which is not necessarily a problem, but you feel like, hey, hang on a second, why the sudden personality change? So stuff like that k kind of bothers me when, you know, certain folks break characters. And the worst part of this movie, I mean, the worst part, according to me, there was this Yoda puppet. Oh my God, it was so bad it looked so bad I mean 
I was looking at it. I'm like, oh my god, I must have gone back in time. How does something look this bad on screen in 2017? I mean, if you guys are watching this movie just to figure out how bad this is, just to see how bad this is, you got to watch that movie for that Yoda puppet. Oh my god, it 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 was it was terrible. I mean, that just killed the movie for me. So, all in all, listen. I would recommend not watching the movie okay now I know these things are subjective and some of you guys out there might enjoy some of these more social justice narrative and even even if you enjoy that there's just a whole lot going wrong with this movie even excluding all that usual social justice narrative that gets shoved down our throat uh, yeah so that's my thought on the movie if you guys are planning on watching it don't 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 watch the movie don't 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 please please don't watch the movie all right guys subscribe to the channel for more content i'll see you guys next time take care